the gun. Do we want too much? What's what's his name? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Do we want to go over like <laughs> topics or? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is it really that funny? <laughs> uh, it's it just something I would say to you. What's up, guys? This is a special edition of the Friendly Fire podcast. It's the uh, anime podcast. The uh, post-con podcast. Post-con podcast. So, this is Logan, as always. Drew. Josh. Douglas. And Nate. And this is about anime <coughs> and yeah. conventions and stuff. We um, just, uh, we had a Nebraska on this past, <coughs> wow, God, you gotta stop coughing. Anyway, we had a Nebraska on this past weekend, and I think it's safe to say that pretty much all of us are... Completely worn the fuck out. <laughs> it's an understatement. Yeah, yeah. So. it's just two days, like um, two days and two well, and a half days. Two and a half days yeah. of just straight drinking and. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's basically just uh, it's uh, pretty much one of the biggest Midwest conventions, right? For anime, it's it's it's, it's bigger. probably the biggest yeah. one. For, no, 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 okay, definitely not, not, the, not biggest. the biggest. What is NakaCon bigger? NakaCon is bigger. Um, I'm sure some of the Texas and I suppose Texas yeah, might be, yeah, might so. be a but I wouldn't I wouldn't call Texas the Midwest. Texas is like Southwest. Texas is like deep South, bro. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> um, either way, yeah, it's um. I always got a couple of big cons too. Yeah. In Illinois, but obviously, this is a, has uh, some big cons. Yeah. It's a three-day anime convention in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, it's always got panels, a huge uh, anime shop you can get stuff from, and lots of cosplays. And they also do gaming tournaments and things. Yeah, stuff like that. And they have like a kind of a hangout area. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the Zen Garden? The is Zen Garden for is the, where, uh, where I think we're, that's where the majority of the uh, like interaction happens. Yeah, hanging out. So probably where a couple hundred people lost their virginity <laughs> last night. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Very possible. <laughs> yeah, there's lots and lots yeah. of drunk people at night there. Yeah. Well, they, it's a good time. Well, the, the thing is about this is, um, if you guys haven't been there, like the Zen Garden Pavilion has um, a bunch of different hotel rooms that surround it, and since the um, since the hotel rooms can't have liquor licenses or whatever, they can't s- sell it. Sell out. They can't like ha- like charge you for the alcohol, so it's all free. So you, but as long as you tip your bartender, obviously, if, unless you're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> unless so, unless you're that. So. That would suck. That would suck. And uh, Pat, uh, who is uh, currently not here, he he was uh, he was bartending last night in the Disney room. Mm-hmm. The Disney yeah. Princess Party. The Disney party. Princess Party. <laughs> yeah. the, Disney, the Disney Princess Party, and it was a blast. That's the only one I went into, actually. That's the one we go to yeah. every year just because most of our friends are right. working that one. Yeah. But it's also the most popular. Speaking of what else got oh, blasted, um, if you guys saw Pat's picture on Facebook. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> his, his face <laughs> Speaking of his face, got blasted, right? Yeah. He ate some curb. Yeah. <laughs> Drew, <laughs> With Drew, his wit- face. Drew witnessed it. <laughs> it was... Uh, it was pretty crazy uh, we were just walking back to the car and uh yeah he just totally biffed it just face planted right into the dirt uh, and you're just like give me your keys <laughs> so give me a keys if you want to live in this year the con was probably the biggest it had ever been it's the been steadily growing people. every year we think they might have hit capacity this year yeah i think they they were at five thousand attendance yesterday at noon so saturday at noon they hit five thousand attendance and the cap is six thousand I can imagine that's very possible. Hmm. Well, um, you got a text last night from um, from one of your friends that registration was closed. And from what I understood when I had read the website is that you could buy tickets at the door until capacity had been reached. And then at that point, registration would be closed. So, I so. Well, that it's, must be it's it. Very then, yeah. it. <laughs> very prob- prob- yeah. Well, and I also know um, that they had, to, they had to put some other panels in uh, hotel, uh, the hotel that was across the street. So like interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of them doing. Well, I, when I walked in yesterday, Drew, I found Drew and Pat right in the entryway, and then I think Drew was talking about going to the panel or something. But then we look at the map, and you're like, oh, this is across. This is a hotel across the street. So I guess maybe hmm. as time goes on, that means they're gonna like combine different hotels or whatever to to fit the event. I guess. So I guess that's a good sign. There is talk of the con moving to a bigger location, where they're going to 
take. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what kind of uh, hotel can accommodate that kind of capacity. Yeah, because the layout is basically just all the panels are in the different conference rooms, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Ballrooms, yeah. Rooms. yeah, ballrooms. Yeah. And then yeah, you got obviously the hotels. People are staying in and going in. And, and that's a big hotel. Like yeah. that's a yeah. that's yeah. a yeah. that's a huge hotel. Yeah, no shit. I it's feel like I walked like six too. miles yesterday. <laughs> it's at least <laughs> it's good exercise. It's it really good, is. It's a good. Uh, I'd say five. Five ish minute walk from one end of the hotel to the other. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Co- not to mention walking multiple, multiple times. times. Yeah, co- yeah. Couple been... that being shoulder to shoulder with like all these like <laughs> fucking everybody that's uh, fat male misties. <laughs> fat male misties. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Fuck, worst cosplay of all time. Right. And, we, so much. and especially when you're cosplaying, like trying to walk from one end of the hotel to the other, you get people stopping to ask you for photos and oh, yeah. just want to talk yeah. maybe about anime or what have you. Mm-hmm. So it really takes you longer to get where you're intending to go. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. And seriously, the walk to your car, though, yeah. like, I parked, like, a good two and a half blocks away from the hotel, so... Yeah, when there's that many thousand people in one spot, it, yeah. I yeah, actually got lucky. Madness. I actually got pretty lucky with parking this year, like, but I'm pretty sure that the spots that I picked were, like, totally not legal parking spots. <laughs> <laughs> but, like... That's risky. Um, but there were I, a few uh, cars that got towed this year. So. Yeah, quite a few uh, actually. I believe it. But I figured like a lot of the cars in the in the in the place that I parked were parked in very similar fashion. So I'm like, um, okay, I'm gonna go for this. Hope I get away with it. I don't think <laughs> so, they're gonna tow all of us. Yeah, <laughs> It'd be pretty tough to tow everybody. Yeah, yeah it would. They just gotta pick and choose. So but they are actually talking about next year um, increasing the parking by. Uh, having a shuttle service set up with, you know, maybe the Baxter Arena or something like that so they can yeah. shuttle people from another parking lot, save a ton of money and time and everything. So. That would be really helpful for kind of the younger kind of kids. Yeah. Maybe getting dropped off and all that stuff so there's not as much just cars in and out. And right. Nice. Yeah. Or traffic back back exactly. up to hell. I mean, did you guys see the traffic that was going on there? Like, like towards, like, the evening of, of last night. It uh, was just insane. I imagine yeah. it would be. Yeah. So. Well, on top of all the cars and stuff, you got a million people who got to walk back and forth from that Burger King all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that Burger King's got to make a killing. God, right. Right. A couple that is, They're the only restaurant in walking distance, right? Well, the Perkins they, is they close. Yeah, they Perkins, they bulldoze that Perkins yeah. across the street. Yeah, yeah. So. The, those Burger King employees? has seen some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the, imagine, imagine all the furries that were wa- going into that out of there. Right. Yeah, you like, gotta see all these people driving down the road going to work or something. Like, what the fuck are these people doing with these masks? Right. And There's hundreds of them. That's gonna be the best part of like working oh. like, work at those places. Just watch like all the fucking people that come in like dresses like fucking Sephiroth or some shit. <laughs> yeah, they're just ready to go. Did anybody see any really good cosplays this year? I've always only there for I, one night. I saw a couple. I didn't see a lot of really good stuff. I, this I year. haven't seen any that were like in comparison to the like the Garrus cosplay from the previous. Oh my Texas. god, yeah. that was amazing! That was the and best. Some cosplays like that, but there were some that I really enjoyed. Like a poison ivy, a really hot girl wearing. A oh yeah! Ivy. Oh, I saw her. She was. Well, there are several poison things ivies like also. that. So. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's it's enjoyable to look at for everybody. <laughs> uh, I saw I saw some pretty spot on predator uh, cosplays. There were two of them actually. Um, oh, no, there was dude that dressed up like Smoke. Yeah, that dude was legit. Our buddy, oh yeah, like classic Smoke. Yeah. yeah. We had our buddy Elijah dress up as uh, Sector. And no, no Cyrax. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Cyrax, that was a pretty good one too. He handmade it. Was so. that Friday? Yeah, yeah, Friday. Because he was uh, an Android yesterday, wasn't he? Yeah, he was yeah, Android, Android 17. 17. Right, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. So there were a couple of those. There's some good stuff. Year. I saw um, uh, the main bad guy from Ruby. I don't think I don't know if any of you guys have seen. Oh Ruby's yeah, here, right? okay. Yeah, I know he was pretty good. I've seen all the I've seen Ruby like all that they have released so far. Yeah, and but I can't I can never remember <laughs> that guy's name. I don't remember his name. Either, I don't remember. Yeah. I know he's asking. He's doing a pretty that. pretty job. So yeah. I thought, I mean, it was pretty decent overall. I mean, of course you have your Jokers that show up in their Halloween costumes that they bought from <laughs> Spirit or Party <laughs> City. <laughs> I mean, Naughties. But, right. I mean, at least, like, I mean, from what I had gathered just from what I had seen, I, I thought that it was kind of an improvement from last year as far as overall. Maybe not necessarily in individual examples, but from my experience of what I, what I had seen from last year to this year, I felt like it was... A little bit of a step up, not anything crazy marginal, but I feel mm. like next year is going to be even better. So I feel like it's yeah. like it's they, they get they give it like little exponential increases year after year. Mm-hmm. That just it's not like not not a drastic change, but at least it's something in the right direction. Well, right. me and Drew have been going for I think this was our fifth year. It's gotta be because I've gone at least four, and you guys started going before me. I yeah, it's been at least five. Yeah. It's been better every year. 
I think. That's good. As far as the party area goes, it's definitely better every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, sometimes the, the panels are always kind of a hit and miss kind of thing because sometimes they don't schedule it out the way that works best for everybody. You're never going to hit and the, sometimes the, the perfect like, schedule. Sometimes we're so. at like midnight. Like yeah. they have these fucking panels that are just like ridiculous hours. And I Some wasn't... of the midnight panels are pretty good because sometimes they're 18 they're plus. They're 18 plus, yeah. Oh, like yeah. That. And like the con horror stories panel i went to last year <laughs> that sounds or, awesome. no, that was the year before the He's, con horror stories one was really good he said horrors not whores con whores <laughs> yeah. no, sure no did you go to the orgy room was that the <laughs> <laughs> i wanted that table yeah. yeah but yeah i wasn't too big on the guests guests this year though like the, the quote-unquote celebrities that they had you had keith silverstein and uh and kyle hebert kyle hebert that, that that was about it like like what those else? are two superstars in the well, I, yeah, the but some pretty big names, world. Yeah. I know, but like the rest of it was pretty lackluster. I thought like you had those those two, and I mean the those... fact that we can get those two to come back like every year is just a good thing. Yeah. That yeah. girl from Rooster Teeth was there. I Which one? Her, I forgot her freaking name. Who's from no, 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 not from Rooster Teeth. Oh, uh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, she was uh, from DBZ Abridged. She played. Uh, oh, yeah. She Android voiced 18. Android 18. Yeah, she was there this year. But yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh. but that's the only one that I really remember. As far as guests go, I think that uh, NakaCon usually takes the cake on that. Well, that's, yeah. We usually get us to meet some pretty cool people down at NakaCon, which is, by the way, in Overland Park, Kansas, in March. But uh, I think I always like Nebraska because they bring, you know, Keith and Kyle are always there, and those guys are hilarious. So. <laughs> they had, uh, I don't know how to say his last name, it's Steve Blum, Steve Bloom. Steve, Steve, Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom. From uh, Keller Viop. Favorite voice actor. He was there a few years ago. Yeah, that, no that. way. Oh, yeah. 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 That line, oh, I stood in line for like three hours. I don't normally wait in lines, but I I had to. So. I would have waited yeah. in line too. Yeah, yeah that tell, guy's awesome. Tell him, about, um, tell him about the story about how you got his autograph or whatever. Oh, just that uh, he does Wolverine in a lot of um, cartoons or animes or whatever. And when they said my name is Logan, he started doing the Wolverine voice. Since it's a Wolverine's name, right. it was kind of cool. I had a little like nerd moment. I kind of freaked out a little bit. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Was like, <laughs> but, yeah. and, uh, I just think with the guests though that they have the different kind of celebrities that we all here like anime. We've all seen a lot of animes, but there's still a lot of animes we haven't seen. It's and true. so there's probably right. a lot of things mm-hmm. that we might say, "Who the fuck is this person?" And someone freaks out because it's their person. And so I think it's probably the more. It's a broad spectrum of guests, and right. so it's not everybody's going to be a superstar because you don't know everybody. So, right. but sometimes they do bring the heavy hit voice actors where you're like, that I would, fucking cool. I would really like to like to see uh, Vic McNanya if he if he ever like he voices at Ed Elric. Okay, I was gonna yeah. say that a, lot, a lot of yeah. people don't like having him at their cons, man. Really? Why? Uh, just uh, That's what you heard? Rumors. <laughs> this isn't. This is alleged. Uh, but he's apparently hitting on like young girls and stuff. Oh, and the cons Ooh. aren't really having that. There's been a lot of bad feedback, allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> cosplay it's is not, not an accusation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an accusation if you say allegedly, right? Yeah. <laughs> or uh, Johnny Johnny Young Bach would, or how do you say his last name? Uh, Johnny Young Bosch, dude. Johnny Young Bosch. Oh yeah. my god, yes. He'd be a good one. He's or uh, Todd Haberkorn would be awesome too. Uh, he voices um, Natsu in Fairy Tale, among like a million other voices, and like mainly a lot of Funimation stuff. But, yeah. Like, well, so does Young Bosch too. Yeah, he, Young Bosch does too. And Black Ranger on Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, much was he than at that? the con? a few years ago? Johnny uh, and Bosch? I saw somebody who No, was... he was at... Uh, I, wasn't he at O-Comic-Con? No. No? I, so. no? no. I, know. I would have knew about that. It was two years ago, at least. I know that I, one of my first he years... He was here. And I think so, because sure. I went to a panel where it was somebody, a big name like that, was talking about being in the industry and voice acting. I thought it was him, because other people were saying he was the Black Ranger. Or um, right Brad Whaley would be a pretty good one, too. Um, he voices um, uh, Light and Death Note. Um... Yeah, I don't, he's. Gotcha. I think I think he's he's he does a whole lot. Of, he's in that same spectrum of like Funimation voice actors. So. I met my favorite one, so I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> every day. Yeah. We actually got to meet the uh, Japanese voice actor for Naruto in at Nakacon. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. cool. That would be yeah. cool. Uh, you yeah. had to pay ten dollars to get her autograph, but were they? Were oh, they? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she <laughs> so had to travel people, from yeah. Japan, so yeah, you got to kind of pay it for Make it. out these travel expenses. Come on, man. And it's basically like the only time you're gonna get yeah. to meet. A person like that, yeah, so. it was pretty cool. We got, a, uh, we each got like a picture signed, and <laughs> he got, a, I think she signed your badge for free, additional. So mm-hmm. well, that's cool. We had her sign our. Badge. Did you go ask Hikashi that year? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so, <laughs> I actually gave her uh, Kakashi's little 
handbook, his porno book that he reads. Oh, I, gave, I gave it to her. She looked at it and she's like, "Oh, you you have the porno book? That's hilarious!" <laughs> and so she wrote something in Japanese. I don't know what it says. Yeah, <laughs> I can't read. Get Japanese, that translated. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I want to. She signed, my, she signed my death note. So it's your autographed book. Forty years. seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Dude, what about like Chris Sabat or like? He's been there. He's yeah. hilarious. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah. yeah. we uh, yeah. we got to hang out with him for a little while. Oh, I love that guy. I'm so jealous. He's he's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Yeah. It's hilarious. He would. I, I imagine he would get burned out at having to say it's over nine thousand like eight hundred <laughs> times a day. Uh, over nine thousand times, times a, a day. day. <laughs> nine thousand. It's not even his line. Like not not originally. It was yeah. the guy. It was the guy that the the Toei voice actor that played Vegeta before yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you become that character, you pretty much take over yeah. everything that character's done. And that, I gotta say, I, I prefer thing. that over nine thousand better than Chris Sabas. Like his just doesn't sound the same. I haven't heard it. You haven't heard it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, uh, the guy that voices Goku, what's his last name? Shimmel. Shimmel. Okay. Yeah. I've, I don't know. For some reason, I look at it and like my brain just like like your shuts brain, down. Your brain becomes full of fuck. I know. I, it's like I don't get it. I guess it's just like it's like one of those words in the dictionary where you look at it and you just like you just can't process it. So yeah. I'm glad somebody clarified that for me because I had never actually heard his last name pronounced. Yeah. Before. Shimmel. I just kind of gloss over it and I'm like shim 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 uh, have you guys seen that that video of uh, Sean Schimmel and Chris Sabat and I don't know who the dude is that does the voice of Frieza? Oh, they the do, oh, they, 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 they quote they... famous movies. Yes, uh, so they do that scene from Step Brothers. In, yeah, in the DBZ, they do Step Brothers. They do Pulp Fiction. Um, uh, Zoolander. They're in Zoolander. Though? Yeah, they're, they're in. in they're in character. Sil- if, Silence of the Lambs. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Just YouTube. Well, they like, do some DBZ. of their other characters. I got. I got to find. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah, only do their awesome. DBZ. It was, no, I know. It was funny. Uh, like when, uh, when the guy that plays Frieza did the voice of um, Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. So I was like. Wow, he actually really could pull off a handle of lecture. <laughs> right. yeah, it sounds it. creepy as sounds fuck. Sounds of the Lambs, the animated series. Yeah. <laughs> so, how was, how was everyone's personal experience at the con? Like, I mean, like, as far as, like, what what you enjoyed the most about it? Like, what do you think, what do you think could be an improvement? Um, things that um, maybe you would consider planning for next year's con or um, guests or like, you know, just personal itinerary, um, you know? I think as there. far as my experience goes, this is Douglas speaking, as far as my experience goes, uh, the parties were really great and the cosplays are, were great as always and those are my two favorite things about the con. I love mm-hmm. to people watch and drink, so those are <laughs> two of my favorite things. Uh, the, the gaming room was a little bit better this year, in my opinion. They had a little better station set up, and it was kind of cool. It was all dark with a bunch of like flashing lights and stuff. Mm. Uh, the shop was a little worse. I think they... Uh, first of all, the setup made no sense. There were several dead ends in the shop, which you don't want when you have a huge crowd of people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I right. yeah. That was shitty. We were walking through there, and like we were just like, where the fuck do we go now? Like, yeah. <laughs> And then I thought that um, there was a little... Like, I, I like the artist thing, but it was a little too focused on the artist side of things this year. Uh, they didn't really they didn't really balance it super well. Um, what, what was that? The the artists versus the, like, the shop actual portion. It was basically, oh, okay. like, half artists and half shop. And, I mean, that is technically balanced. But... <laughs> <laughs> I just defeated them. You don't that, say. When you have that many artists, uh, it kind of... It's a little much, and you're cutting down on the shop stuff. Like there wasn't hardly any product, and a lot of that shit was really overpriced. Well, (laughs) it's it's always kind of overpriced, but that's just the way it is. But uh, there wasn't as many like like things for the scrolls, and there wasn't as many figures for sale. Um, T-shirts. They really they had that one T-shirt. Barely any T-shirts. Like last year, they had a huge T-shirt T-shirt station that was just tons of nerd shirts. Wasn't there this year. Uh, so, and oh, I mean to sum it up, the parties and the co- or cosplays were great. Um, I didn't go to any panels this year because I couldn't go Saturday. But uh, shop was a little bit worse. Gaming gaming room was a little bit better. So overall, I I would say I had a really great time. Well, and I do think a, a change in location would be probably. I, I like the location. I like the layout, like of a hotel, because it makes it feel like it's exciting. Mm-hmm. But uh, that shop has never really been great. I've been to Knockcon once. That shop was ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Huge. But they have 
like a massive room for that shop there. And this it's shop about is three almost, times the size. Yeah, the shop is almost too small. You need a bigger room for that because you got to have more space for stuff. Like the the size of the shop is probably about the same size of like the grand ballroom where they hold like all the main events right. for yeah. Nebraska. That's the size of the shop in Naka. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's but they reserve they reserve that room for like the. Uh, for the cosplay contest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like, like, the dating auction, the cosplay contest. The dating that. auction? <laughs> yeah. That existed. This year. There's yes. dating auctions There's at every year. con ever. It, uh, always there. You basically oh, just go like hang out in the lobby afterwards. It's like pretty, yeah. it's, like an actual It's event. more of a thing yeah. to like make a new friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, you kind of like raise money for the, yeah. you know, for Ra- the It raises like money for yeah, the it's events. Kind of, it's not a serious. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> not real thing. Like, sometimes it might be, but it's, it's, it's not usually. You own them for 24 hours. It's like it's like you're buying a person. I don't know. With me, obviously, uh, uh, I obviously you know just people watching with all the cosplays and stuff and just hanging out and partying all night. It's obviously the high point for me. But I didn't really get the chance to fully experience much of the con. Um, not 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 that I didn't. Get, okay, I should say that I didn't get the chance to. I just I just didn't do it. So I, I bought the passes and stuff, but I didn't take full advantage of it. So I only caught a little bit of the, of the cosplay contest. I did. <laughs> you, you bought a pa- yeah, you got you got to see more than I did, and you didn't get a fucking pass. <laughs> but I got to, like I got to see got to see the uh, the co- like a, the later part of the cosplay contest, which got pretty boring to me later on. So we just ended up leaving, and uh, the dance party was pretty cool. Like gets after being in there for like a fucking hour it gets like really just it smells like sweat and BO and I just want to just get out of there <laughs> I didn't get the chance to see the gaming room I did last year um, but I mean that's that's usually something that I always hit up but I mean for the most part just hanging out in the pavilion just talking and hanging out and meeting new people is always the best best part for me oh good morning I, uh, I also didn't really go to the con this year I just went for one night um just to kind of go see the parties Slacker. and cosplays and stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, and the thing is that I I like going, but just the last couple of years, like, I even kind of defended this point earlier, but none of the guests really appealed to me. I've already either seen them or uh, or I didn't watch the show or anything that they're on. I would like to see, I'm a huge fan of Rooster Teeth. I'd like to see them bring Ruby up, maybe some of the people from there, because um, they're pretty pretty close. I mean, this is Texas. It's not that crazy far. Um, I'd love to see, see uh, Rooster Teeth come up and do something like that. We need to go to RTX um, one of these years. Yeah, RTX would be cool. That'd uh, be fun. Is that all, that's always in Austin, right? Yeah, they're doing yeah. one in Australia this year. Oh, it's a little bit farther shit. though. So I don't think we can do that one. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we could, but yeah, I I uh, I liked a lot of the cosplay. I mean, it was they had some good stuff. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I I wasn't there for a whole lot, honestly. I think I think like I think my favorite cosplay that I saw it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't like my the best looking one that was there. But it, it was kind of just good for me because it hit me right in the childhood feels. Uh, some guy, <laughs> some guy dressed up as Quail Man from Doug. <laughs> if you guys ever watched Doug, like yeah, I remember that show. The classic like Nick cartoon. I'm like, oh my god, it's fucking Quail Man. That's awesome. I need to get a picture with you. I think my favorite cosplay was the the uh, robot smoke. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. that was sweet. Like the original smoke, the purple <laughs> yeah, one. The original mm-hmm. smoke. Mm-hmm. What about you, Drew? Uh... For me, uh, it's I don't know. It's it, I just I just really enjoy interacting with with all the different people that are there. I mean, you you run into people there with uh, from all walks of life, um, but you all come together knowing that you know you lo- you love nerdy shit, you love anime, you love comic books, movies, video games. Video games. That's like that my stuff. favorite part actually is that there's six thousand people there, all for the exact same thing. Like, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. everybody's cool with everybody and most of the time. You can run in and have a conversation yeah. with anyone about pretty much you know anything that a you're into. Stranger. Yeah. yeah, and that's the cool thing. Uh, I don't know dr- dressing up like do I do I do a couple cosplays uh, uh, usually. The, at the cons that I go to and uh, just running into the, all the other different cosplays taking pictures with people <laughs> meet, just meeting new people uh, partying just having a good time I know you guys all said that too but I mean it's, it's, it's <laughs> well that, it really that, is, that really is like those parties yeah. they're fun that's, that's nerds can throw down um, it's just it's, it's just cool knowing that you can you can be yourself in front of a, a group of thousands and thousands of people and you're not judged for who you are or, yeah. or what you like and I don't know. It's just it's a liberating feeling, I think, more than anything. Yeah, absolutely. And you get to see people like sometimes that you just see like at the con. Like maybe like I saw I saw a couple of people there that I hadn't seen like since last year's con, and we're just like, oh my god, what's up? Like you know, doing all that shit. But I don't know. Yeah, and it's a very uh, friendly environment. Like he's saying, you can interact with them and everything. But there's also like everybody treats everybody with respect. There's hardly any bad situations that go down. It mostly comes from the drunk people 
towards the end of the night where something bad actually happens. That almost happens. happened with me and it's on Saturday. Su- <laughs> usually super minor. And, yeah. But, uh, like, Drew has lost things in the past. I've lost and... my wallet two straight years. And both <laughs> times it was returned to lost and found. When does that happen? It had hundreds of dollars of cash in it. Who does that? Nerds yeah. do. Cool. Nerds yeah, right. do. Nerds do. Cool people at the con. <laughs> yeah. People that don't shower for three days. Right. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's what about you, Josh? Okay. What you like? Well, I'll start off with the bad first. Oh, uh, I was with Nate for most of the night. Bring it yeah, in, man. Was, well, you were filming the, like most of the yeah. thing too. So, well, yeah. I had to be like your assistant for a while. Right. <laughs> well, I was just so like as far as the bad goes, the shop was so disappointing. Like I, I had heard people just talking about it and blowing it up, and I walked in there. Even Pat and, did. Yeah, Pat, t- and Pat talked it up, and like you know, it was like, man, I'm really stoked about this. I didn't have a pass last year, so I, you know, I'm gonna go check it out this year. I went in, and I was like, okay, while there are some cool things in here, I was like, it, there was absolutely not one thing in there that I could justify spending my money on, as far as like how it was priced. And, and like, of- granted, it, it's a convention. Like, I get it. You know, things got to be overpriced. I got it at the con, whatever. But. Um, well, what were you gonna say, Drew? Um, just the fact that like that, I wouldn't say that necessarily falls on on Nebcon. I would say the layout for the vendor room definitely falls on Nebcon. Mm-hmm. But the vendors, who whoever wants to sign up to be a vendor at the event, that's that's on the vendor. They set up their own prices. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But so, you can also haggle with them. Don't be afraid to haggle with them. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they uh, especially Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, if you know you go in there and there's something that you want that they still have. They're probably looking to get rid of it. Yeah. Right. So they probably bought that out know, of pocket almost. Five taking, dropping five ten dollars off their price. Sometimes yeah. they're willing to do it, and even like uh, buy one get one deals and things like that. So. Right. Well, and I just saw Funimation's. Like I walked over to Funimation's table, and I and I was looking at their and like all they had were DVD box sets. It's like okay, for one, you're at a, you're at a freaking con. I could go buy this like online right uh-huh. now for like twenty dollars. What in the hell makes you think I'm gonna buy this? 20 episode anime for like $80. You can fuck off. Yeah, right. So you can fuck right off. And so like but beyond all but beyond all that, yeah, the layout was the layout was crap or whatever. I mean, I did see some cool things in there, but overall I was pretty disappointed with it. I was expecting to see cooler stuff. Um, but they, they as, had a wall of swords, right? Which which which, <laughs> which has been there every year. <laughs> uh, are, are, were those real, by the way? No, I know that some you of them are. Yeah. Some, some of them, them are. are. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, man, you never know. You could have just been playing with one and just like I don't know, cut yeah. your hair off or something. Probably. <laughs> yeah, they, they've actually that's had that sword vendor there yeah. for like every year. I think. That's really yeah. interesting. You get a couple of nerds in there that are like, you know, just like play fighting or whatever, and they're just enthusiastic about it. One of them just ends up like stabbing the other. <laughs> At least the blood matched the carpet. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so the, sh- the shop was meh. I, I, I didn't get a chance to go to, to the game room this year, which, which I was kind of bummed about. I, Nate and I went last year. Well, they were in the middle of doing a fighting game tournament, which I think I, I I used to compete in FGC. So like seeing that kind of stuff like at at a con where it's not necessarily dedicated to that, to me that's really cool. It's refreshing. It kind of just goes back to pulling all the people in for similar interest, and you know it's it's just a great way of me, to meet people as far as far as that goes. So yeah. um so didn't get a chance to go to the game room. Um as far as the the parties were concerned. Um, I only got to go Saturday. I didn't get to go Friday. I was kind of like, you know, gearing up for filming. I, I filmed the whole con. Like, I got there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And, like, by the time that I got in and got set up and everything to start filming, it was probably, like, 2.30. And I filmed until midnight. Like, I mean, yeah. just running, like, just running all over the place just trying to get footage for it. It was my first time ever shooting a live event. So, like, I mean, by the end of the day, I was just, I was just done. So, absolutely I mean, done. And, like, I didn't really get a chance to focus on, like, the aspects of the con in great detail because I was, I was because I was shooting. But, um, but, like I said, over, overall, like, of just being in there for, for as long as I was, like, um, I thought it was a great experience overall as, as far as just being in the con. But, like, the party rooms, by, by, anyway, back to the party rooms. So, they opened up way later this year on Saturday night oh, yeah. than they did last Easily. year. And I was kind of pissed about that because, I mean, at one point there was only one room. It was the Brony room that was that was serving <laughs> the alcohol. Room. The Brony room was the only room at one point that was, serv- that it had was the serving worst, alcohol. It had the worst alcohol, too. It was way too fucking sweet. It was. Yeah. Like, but, well, what time did they open this year? 
I don't know. Like the Disney room didn't even open until like ten thirty or eleven. Well, I thought was... they opened at ten every year. No, no, no Friday, not they this were open year. at eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we started partying with them. I mean, while well, we were there early with them hanging out, but yeah. they actually opened the doors to the to everybody else. At right. Eight. I didn't see a Zelda room. I didn't see a Pokemon room. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see. I I saw like maybe four or five rooms there on Saturday night, and like on la- the Saturday like the year before, every single, every single room, room. Yeah. was packed and filled with like different stuff, and like I I just thought the party like on last year's aspect was better, but I still had a good time going to all the rooms and talking to people, and of course all the people that were serving alcohol are super generous. Yeah. I mean, how could you take free booze from them and not tip them? I mean, yeah. they're doing they're doing that out of the kindness of their hearts, seriously. For real. So. Uh, playing devil's advocate here again for the, for the con. Uh, the, the reason I think they opened up later was because they only have a certain amount of alcohol to distribute. Um, so the shorter the window is that people are going to be partying, like the the more they can stretch out. Uh, the ability the serving. to get liquor. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. there, there are people they ran the Disney party room had. Uh, they ran out of booze probably about 1, 12, 31, mm-hmm, somewhere mm-hmm. in there. So that was about four and a half hours, but they might have had to use some of their Saturday supply on Friday. Well, and they oh, close yeah. it down. They close it down immediately after they run out. So Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I remember, I think, last year or two years ago when I went, like, it started a little bit later, if I remember right, and then we people were going to like three or four. Oh yeah. So yeah. I kind of liked going later into the night. As I would agree to, with that. Yeah. And that's way more. Fun. I honestly wouldn't be too <laughs> upset if, with the party rooms, uh, you know, they had like a instead of doing a two night thing, they just did like one big one night thing. Because I know how hard it is to run those rooms. I mean, I've seen all the people yeah. try and run them, and on top of the problems with. You know, drunk people being stupid or <laughs> being creepy or, <laughs> you know, because, I mean, some of the girls run those rooms and they get a lot of unwanted attention. Yeah. And so I get that it's really tough to run those rooms and it's a lot of responsibility, especially yeah. that the hotel puts on them. Mm. But, uh, you know, maybe we maybe we move to like a, you know, a, a Saturday night party room night or have, you know have some of the party rooms try and combine and work together. There, I think there were, there were like a couple that. that did that. Yeah, um, there were a couple yeah. that did that. And it was really nice because you could span out into another room where the where the dance party was and they had a separate room for alcohol. And, and it's booze. like, in the Disney room, when I tried to go in there and get shots, like, there was, there was like, it I couldn't even get in. It shoulder. was shoulder to shoulder, yeah. completely, utterly That's packed. Like always the most popular so, room. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone wants everyone wants, wants to sing along to fucking Aladdin tunes when they're right. out there. <laughs> well, it's kind of... So, so loud in there. It's kind of like being on the phone and, like, you know, they play back that night Nice music for you so that you don't lose your shit you know when you're like calling like a 1-800 number or customer <laughs> service number or something if you're if you have disney music to sing and listen to you're probably going to be a little bit more patient so yeah um let's get down to business i don't, <laughs> do uh, I don't know if that. there's a uh, some way they could convince the hotel to let them do it but uh, maybe take like a corner of the zen garden and uh, rope it off. Yeah, kind of like a beer garden. Yeah, like a beer garden. In the Zen garden. In the Zen garden. Oh, oh exactly. Yeah. Gardenception. Yeah. Try and, try and <laughs> convince them to rope off like a big section of it so it's more open and uh, not so closed off to like a tiny hotel room. Right. Um, maybe they could convince them to do that if they put up like a gate kind of thing. Yeah. I know those gates aren't very expensive and they're pretty easy to put together. Right. So I don't Look, know if that's something that could happen next year. Well, I was going to do like a quick poll with you guys. Do you think the con should be moved? I, I don't mean, think so. You don't think so? I, 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 don't, I think okay, I love this. One at a time. Okay. Yes? I no? I, I don't think so because I, I think I, I love how the venue is laid out because okay. like yeah. everything, it's like you know where everything's at like and they, and they make it very clear. It does have that kind of history there. Yes. Yeah, and, it's established. And I just don't, and I just think like if you, if you take, if you take an event, especially like we, Omaha had his first Comic Con here uh, earlier this year in the summer and and that was that was more like, I guess I should say, um, enforced a little more. Like it, it, it seemed like it wasn't as. It's at the Mid America Center. It right? was at the Mid America Center, and so it's just and a it's, huge open auditorium. Yeah, it was at the yeah. huge open auditorium, and it, and it didn't seem like there was much more of an opportunity to like really let loose. Like you kind of just you know, 
go there and just hang out in your costume or whatever and just go to the venues yeah. and shit, or vendors and shit well, like I think that. in those big rooms that, you lose a little bit of that intensity because when you're kind of yeah. packed in it just feels like there's more people and there's more going on yeah and, it's, it's so. more it's more lively yeah. which I like yeah. well and it puts everybody like more together too as far as like being able to mingle and like yeah. run around and stuff and I feel like that that is probably the most important aspect of the con and that's what I enjoy so much every single year is the fact that I can just run up to anybody and just start talking anime and video games with them and yeah. you know like while i was shooting i had no problems getting people being in my video and stuff like nobody was looking at me weird it was people just people love that yeah they, they love they it all and want pictures and yeah it's cool. i mean it, it, and it's so great and you know back to what i was saying about um you know about the con and stuff it's like you know i have no idea what it takes to plan an event like that i have no idea like the amount of people that are behind all that and stuff and like again i want to you know thank nebraska again for you know giving us such a we had a really good year this year so mm -hmm. definitely want to thank them for that um but you know like i said i was just i'm kind of just like nitpicking and like just you know complaining i guess at this point just because like well I mean, there's always things you, you know, want to fix right like exactly. it may be the, the, the best time we have all year but there's right. still things you want to fix <laughs> yeah. right so and it right. is the best time we have. So, Worth so. says no, don't move it. What do you think? I, Josh? you know what? Yes if, or no? if they can find just a bigger hotel, I, I don't think that that would be such a bad thing, um, as long as the feel of it stays the same. Yeah. Right. Um, important. Yeah. Really, really, what their biggest problem is is capacity right now. Because yep. if this keeps growing the way that it is, it's gonna outgrow that little hotel. Like, outgrow. did you see the line so, that was that, that was waiting to get in, into the dance party before yes. it started? Oh my <laughs> god! And what about what about the the cosplay contest? I mean, it was completely wrapped around. There were people, back to the Zen Garden. There were people that were waiting. Insane. That's like across the whole. Uh, it's across the whole the, hotel. The whole building. Yeah. yeah it's across it's the, the whole building. There were people. There were people literally lining up like two or three hours of advance waiting to get into the costume yeah. the cosplay mm -hmm. contest yeah. yeah and like and the the dance party was supposed to open up at 10 o'clock it did not they didn't open the door until like at least midnight yeah and well then, it was about it was about 10 30 10 45 uh, uh, i think it was a little later ish than that. But, but but my point is like it's not it's not it's not it's like it's across the entire building but it's like at like the halfway mark and then you go down that big hallway that leads down to the Zen Garden. Mm -hmm. So, but there were people that were lined up all the way back into the Zen Garden, yeah. waiting to get into that or, dance party. Or why don't they just? Aren't there ballrooms on the second and third floors? Why don't they just kind of expand some of the activities up there? So, I like, know I mean, if there is because the game room was always on the second floor, right? Yeah, there's a there was a ballroom. That's I mean, there's a ballroom up there. That's where they have it. I mean, it's like in a it's there in a might be room. some other ones up there. And if that's the case, they they really should think about yeah. it expanding. Because if they did, if they expanded out up there, they wouldn't have to worry about relocating it yeah so so don't move don't I, move. i'm gonna say don't move i mean if they they just need to improve what they have yeah so yeah. what do you think? i am don't also miss. um I'm, I'm i lean more towards the don't move because i think that i don't i can't think of another hotel in omaha that would be able to handle it i don't no. think there is one that would be able to handle it as yeah. well as be as relaxed as ramada is I I can't see it happening. Shit, mm -hmm. on all aspects too. I mean, you're talking about like a more of an underground culture that's not really normally accepted as a social norm anyway. It's getting better, you know, over the years, but I mean, not everyone understands cosplay. Not everyone yeah. understands <laughs> the reason why people yeah. come to these conventions and they've been so cool about it. So the, the only other hotel that I can maybe think of that might handle it is that um the Embassy Suites off of like off of I eighty and like hundred and thirty second street. Yeah, that actually that might, might be, be able to might be the only other one that I think. I don't know if that. they have as many ballrooms. So I've actually been around the hotel a few times. Yeah. You're talking about the one on Giles, right? Yeah, the NBC Suites. Right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like that's the only one I can think about the top of my head that might be able to handle that. But I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if it's bigger. Their or the same main size ballroom or... is fucking huge. Okay, so yeah, maybe I mean, maybe that might be something that to might think help of. for certain aspects of it. But I don't know about the foot traffic. That might. You probably not just have work. to rearrange some stuff. Um, well, maybe not have the cosplay contest taking up a whole, bo the whole <laughs> ballroom, right? you know? Like, maybe, like, at a certain time, have it there. But then, like, you know, for the rest of the weekend, like, have other stuff in there that's a little bit more spread out. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know shit about planning events. So. <laughs> what do you think, Drew? Uh, me, personally, um, I don't want it to move. I think, that, like Josh and Josh was saying, uh, the, the venue layout is... is just it's awesome um and people are so accustomed to where everything is mm -hmm. and where they're going um the zen garden is just it's it's absolutely necessary in terms of what 
what the con needs to do for parties. Oh yeah, like just a just a giant area where everybody can gather. Not to mention that all the rooms are lined up all along the entire Zen Garden. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think in terms of of where they're at with capacity and 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 the problems they've been having, especially with the lines, like you guys keep mentioning, parking, um, parking, parking, parking's been a nightmare. Um, it's it's gonna have to move. Um, yeah, it, eventually. It, it keeps yeah. growing. I don't see it happening maybe for you know another couple of years, but the attendance keeps growing. They they keep getting more more notoriety. Um, people people know. Um, Nebraska on when you mention it. You see, it gets yeah. bigger every year. Other it, people are obviously going. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh hell, even even uh, like there were there was people that were there from like Minnesota and Minneapolis to come yeah. down. To come oh down yeah, I mean people they drive come from sure. all over. They come from all over the place. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. there's not a lot of anime conventions. I don't think in general, probably, especially middle of nowhere Nebraska. Most of the yeah. conventions out there are comic and sci-fi. Yeah. There's yeah. not that many anime ones. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, they they are there. There's anime Iowa. There's uh, not Con- gone. Congregation. Con- yeah, there's uh, there are that out there. But... Congregation. It's only, there's only been I one. I heard about that. I heard about that. Was that. In Omaha. It is. It's another Omaha con. Um, there's Convergence, which is up in Minnesota. Constellation, which is a con- sci-fi con in Lincoln. Constellation. <laughs> That's well, awesome. Uh, Nebraska, Nebraska con actually started in Lincoln. If I remember right. Yes, UNL. you're right. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did yeah. start. Yeah. In I went to UNL like in 2008 or nine or something, and I remember hearing about it then, and mm-hmm. it was just tiny, and I didn't never went, but that's... So it obviously already grew once and moved cities. I think they that it could move to another city again, and be in Kearney, Nebraska. There is a gigantic hotel out there that has enormous conference rooms and things, and it's it's huge. And on top of that, they're all all the hotels in that area are owned by the same company. They're all owned by the Eunice Properties, and you could easily have a multi hotel con because they're all like within a block of each other. That well, would be crazy. That'd be awesome. Well, I imagine over half probably live in Omaha who go to this con. It's true. There's yeah. got to be but, a huge local presence. I mean, a two That'd and a half hour to... drive is not that bad. I'm not saying they wouldn't. I was just wondering if you can get that many people who could go and maybe get a hotel for the weekend. And yeah, the party not... would, the population would. Double, basically. This Carney. Carney's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> big. But people would just fucking flock to Carney. Take and they, the town over. And, and this hotel, like, the Ramada this year, like, it, it's, it always sells out. Like, the rooms fill up. Like, if oh, you're... Oh, yeah, I'm sure you have, to, you have to book your rooms, I think, several, like, six months in advance. Oh, yeah. I want to get a room there sometime. Yeah. I've never stayed at the con. I want to get a room for the weekend and stay yeah. sometime. Yeah, it's not the drive. Yeah, oh. exactly. Drink you can just, all day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, that'd be sweet. So, is there any other... Anything else at the con that happened that we want to talk about before we wrap this up? Uh, no, other than the inflatable dinosaur that was dancing around the rave yeah, party. Yeah, that was awesome. Did you guys see Raptor Jesus? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, Raptor, Raptor Jesus was awesome. I got, a, I got a picture with Raptor Jesus. Oh, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> but no, like, I, I was hoping, like, if, if you guys have seen, like, those little, like, stupid inflatable T-Rex costumes that have, like, blown up recently, I, I was hoping that I would see at least one this year. And I saw one, and he was like, you know, dancing around in the rave party, and I'm like, okay, my life is complete. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. I would have died seeing that. I, I, I laughed my ass off. Uh, it was hilarious. What awesome. time did that happen anyway? I don't. It was. I was in. I was in there for a good like 45 minutes before I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. it was great. Well, I guess like as far like as like my overall you know finishing thoughts on the con, I I again like I I. I think that those people are so awesome for being able to, like, throw that for for people like us to go there once a year and just, like, throw the fuck down and just, like, you know. Yeah, and have to put put up with a bunch of drunk people. Right. (laughs) Well, and even even if they're drunk, most of the time they're cool about it. I don't normally see dicks. But anyway, like, you know, regardless of that, like, I, that's one of the events, like, that I look forward to most going in the later part of the year. Like, I mean, yeah. you and I, Nate, were talking about Nebraska on, like, four months four ago. Months of it, like, four months four ago. Four months ago. Like, we were just like, yeah, it was so fun. Uh, the year before, I can't wait to go back. And more and more people, as this is going to happen, it's just going to continue to grow and get bigger. And, yeah. and I think it should. I mean, it's it's a great it's a great thing to go to. And I guess you guys are going to have to come with us to NakaCon, man. Oh, yeah. That's hey, like, that'd be sweet. I'd actually Nuka be down Con for that. NakaCon was pretty cool. What, what is that one the, uh, the party, they don't really have party rooms, unfortunately. I mean, they do happen, and you have to know the people, which luckily we finally did meet some people. Mm-hmm. But uh, the unfortunate side of things is the hotel is a lot more strict on that kind of thing. They well, do issue noise complaints. 
Uh, yeah, that but, hotel. Uh, the the ceilings are super tall. It's almost yeah. like being in an arena where it just you lose some of that intensity. And I just NakaCon was really cool, but I Nebraska I thought was way way more fun. I don't Nebraska know if better is better in terms of the experience experience I would say and the interactions. Mm-hmm. And then NakaCon is better in terms of content and like the shop. The shop, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that um. It's always a good time. Yeah, it's always yeah. fun. I mean, going hanging out. It's a great way to just unleash your nerd rage on everybody. <laughs> your childhood in the yeah. best way possible. <laughs> you get to talk with all kinds of people, and it's a great time. Everybody's nice. Yeah. So we all, all of us recommend it, essentially. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So. But uh, don't bring too many thousand friends because then we'll actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't want that. So, yeah, we will. Uh... Be back with uh, the next uh, gaming podcast, a regular podcast. Yeah, we're going to get back on schedule. And I think we uh, this week we're going to probably try to do a, a gaming video, possibly Aliens Isolations I want to do. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to try I, to keep, I want to, I want keep to see, stuff I want to see Sean play that. Yo, God, yeah. <laughs> <little bitch. laughs> He's afraid of horror games. All right, guys, well, anything else? We good? I think we're good. Take, Take it easy. Good. All right. Thanks for listening. See you next time. See, see ya. y'all. Bye-bye.